So I have this obsession with what I like to refer to as rainbow palettes for people who don't like rainbow palettes. I have seen brands over the years come out with some really beautiful rainbow theme palettes. I have even purchased some in my time, but what always ends up happening is that the colors are just too bright, too saturated, too intense, and for whatever reason, I never reach for them. I always declutter and pass them along until I realized that there exists a whole world of rainbow light palettes that kind of fit the vibe, kind of fit the color story, but they're perfect for me. And honestly, a lot of these are palettes that I mention all the time. I'm sure you're sick of hearing about them, but I'm not sick of talking about them. But for those of my viewers who are like, I've heard you mention this palette a hundred different times, for you and you alone, I am going to include some other palettes that I actually haven't tried before. I just think that they you know, they, they fit the rainbow vibe. The not rainbow vibe. The not rainbow rainbow vibe. Oh boy, what a video this is gonna be. <laughs> if you like these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. Let's dive on in. Admittedly, some of these palettes, some are discontinued, some I've modified. <laughs> the first one is an obvious one. This is the ColourPop at Foresight with Raw Beauty Christie. If you have this palette, now is a great time to break it out because I do feel like it definitely fits the rainbow, not rainbow aesthetic because you do have some really beautiful, deep, rich tones like the, the greens, the blues, and then some warmer tones up here to kind of round it all out. This is a mostly matte palette. I really like it for that reason. I quite like playing around with it and creating some really unique, beautiful looks. So this was kind of like my, my step into rainbow palettes for people who hate rainbow palettes because it kind of showed me that you know you can still like that kind of color story but in a different format it can work really nicely so i really appreciate it for that it really uh, sent me down the rabbit hole <laughs> another one that i mention constantly is the rimmel magnifies jeweled rocks edition I can get it open. There we go. <laughs> this will probably be one of the more affordable ones on the list. Uh, a lot of times I've noticed that with these kind of pigments, they can be pretty expensive, but this is a great quality palette for not a whole lot of money. And I will say that part of the reason it's rainbow-like is the reason I dislike it, these two blue shimmers. I'm always like, well, what, if, what do I do with those? They're so random, but that does kind of add to the, you know, rainbow-like scheme. So I can't hate it entirely. I mean, I have, I have found a way to work like this deeper blue into certain looks. It's just not my favorite, but it can be done. So I guess this would be a more gentle way to get into this kind of color story because there are only three mattes. I do wish there were more. But overall, if you're looking for a way to kind of dip your toes in, I think this is a good way to do it. This next one is one that I played around with. Um, this is the ColourPop Sonic Bloom The Remix palette. I'll throw up what the original looked like. It still fits the vibes. It still fits in with the theme of what I'm talking about. But my little modified version, I think, does so even more. I have a video where I go through ColourPop palettes that I like but I don't love and I take out the shades that just aren't serving me and I replace them with ones that I love and I really enjoyed doing that video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll leave that linked up above if you're curious. It's quite a messy process. That's probably my fault. I think I did a lot of things wrong. But this is a very fun palette. I like the mix of neutral and jeweled tones. Again, I think this is a very versatile palette because you could go quite neutral if you wanted to, but you also have these really rich mattes to kind of play up the more rainbow-like tones in this palette. So I definitely get rainbow vibes from this and from the original as well, but I wanted to include this because I like it a lot. And I had fun putting it together. This next one, I'm not sure what the status of this palette is. I have found this on Beauty Bay and I believe Feel Unique. If I can find it, I'll link it in the description box. Oh, and I've also seen it at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. This is Smitten in Switzerland from BH Cosmetics. This is definitely the cooler toned side of the Rainbow Not Rainbow palettes. You do sort of have like your standard, like the yellow, green, blue, movie purple. There are some tones that are missing, but overall I do think it kind of gives a rainbow-like vibe. You do sort of have those colors, and there's a good mix of matte and shimmer. My one complaint with this palette, there's just an excessive amount of these cream-colored mattes. 
we only need one and my ideal number is none, but they are here and so I do have to figure out how to work with them. Otherwise, I do really enjoy the palette. All right, so moving right along, let's talk about palettes that are rainbow for people who hate rainbow that I actually haven't tried yet. One of them that I was really quite taken by is the Melt Cosmetics Amore y Mariposa's Pressed Pigment Palette. I thought this was so unique because a lot of times, and you'll see more as we go throughout this video, we're looking at very toned down colors. These are bright and saturated, but they're not those kind of primary and secondary colors that you're used to seeing. So I thought this was a really fun example of that. If you're looking for colors that are in that kind of direction, but very bright, punchy, saturated, I think this would be a great direction to go if you like Melt's formula. Give it a try. It's expensive, but I mean, hey, if you like the formula and the colors, I say go for it. A more toned down version that I really like and think about purchasing a lot is the Violet Voss Fun Size Mini in Wild Dahlia. This is probably the most neutral of rainbow-like palettes that you'll see in this video. Also one of the lesser expensive because the mattes in this are quite neutral. We're really relying on the earthy kind of tones in the shimmers to give it that rainbow-like effect. And I really like that. If, I think if you're somebody who wants to very, very gently introduce color into your eyeshadow wardrobe, this would be the way to do it. It's subtle. I think it could still be work appropriate, but there is a bit of that not rainbow, but rainbow-like aspect that we're seeing in this palette. And I gotta say, I admire Violet Voss's restraint because I have said this in videos before, they have a habit of just releasing every rainbow palette they possibly can. So, I love when they actually calm down a bit. I think it turns into something quite beautiful. And then this one, admittedly, it is a bit of a stretch, but stick with me. Charlotte Tilbury Smoky Eyes Are Forever Instant Eye Palette. Again, this is one expensive palette. It is $75. And I think what gives it a rainbow-like quality are the presence of these really beautiful jewel tones. It's the oranges, reds, greens kind of combined for a really beautiful color spectrum, but while still maintaining that classy, elegant, Charlotte Tilbury-esque kind of vibe that we're all familiar with. You wouldn't look at this and think like, wow, that is quite a saturated punchy rainbow palette, but I think you would feel like it's kind of elevated above your typical neutral palette. Definitely above what we're used to seeing from Charlotte Tilbury. I really like it. Again, I feel like this is an elegant way to introduce colors into your eyeshadow wardrobe, and I do get a rainbow-like vibe from it. And then finally, the Vizier Dark Matte Palette, rainbow-ish palette on steroids, because these are very deep, rich colors. I love that in eyeshadow, and obviously I want this palette a ton, trying not to. I'm trying to keep my eyeshadow palette collection under control, but this is like taking rainbow and dialing it up. You're kind of putting a filter on it, I guess. I love how rich everything is. I like how you definitely have almost every color of the rainbow, but it doesn't feel like that. I think because of how um, deep the tones are. I like it so much, you guys. But I'm not gonna buy it, at least not yet. And then special shout out to the Bijou palette. Jewel tones, man. <laughs> I just think they're cute. And the shimmers definitely I think add to that kind of playful rainbow-like vibe. My apologies, you have just heard me say rainbow so many times in this video. I wish I could have thought of another word to, you know, phrase this as, but that's where we're at. So, um, thank you all for watching. If there are any palettes that you think I missed, feel free to list them in the comments down below. Otherwise, I will see you on my next video. Bye!